13 ABC. This is home. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for waking up with this dark and early on December 26th. I'm James Starr. So we're going to kick off your Monday morning with a check of the forecast with meteorologist Dan Smith. Hey, Dan. And uh, good morning to you, James. The good news is not nearly as chilly as what we had had for the past couple of days here in Toledo. 15 in Toledo, and that actually proved our high temperature yesterday. That was our coldest Christmas high since 1985. Now, 7 degrees in Norwalk. It's certainly no slouch. It is still quite chilly out there. Here's a big improvement, though. Just wanted to show this visibility great across the board. We haven't had that since uh, probably at least before Thursday even. That was rain that very quickly switched over to snowfall. Now you can see Doppler radar, the sensitivity turned way, way up on this to see at least a little bit more of that snowfall activity starting to approach us here from the west. Generally going to be mostly over Indiana and then losing steam as it gets here. A quick dusting to a half inch of snow is possible out of this. And even as we roll on through predictor in between the clouds, you're just going to see some very light returns in terms of that snowfall. A little bit of an extra resurgence along in south of US 6 later tonight. But again, not much additional snowfall. Plus, we got a pretty decent warm up heading on into New Year's. We'll give you that full forecast in just a few minutes. Thank you, Dan. Here's a quick look at our snow emergencies right now. Williams, Fulton, Putnam, Putnam Hancock, Sandusky, Seneca, and Erie in Huron County still under a level one snow emergency. Of course, you can stay up to date to check the 13 ABC uh, first alert weather app. Well, it's already cold and a massive winter storm that hit us Friday caused chaos for millions of holiday travelers. Officials report there have been at least 34 weather related deaths across the country and after several days of flight delays and cancellations it could take days for those airlines to get back on track here's abc's andrew dimbert with the latest live from toledo this is 13 abc action news good morning everybody thanks so much for waking up with us dark and early still it is 5 59 not even six o'clock yet on this monday morning the day after christmas i'm james starts sasha and ross both have the day off meteorologist dan smith joining us now as we kind of look ahead to, on the back end of that winter storm that we kind of that kind of walloped us on friday into saturday even sunday as well as well dan exactly and we had had you know just a couple of inches only one inch officially at toledo express so it barely counted as a white christmas but look at this heat wave 16 in toledo right now we were at 15 in the last hour. I can say that it was much, much sarcasm as possible. Nine degrees in Norwalk, still down to single digits, uh, depending on which sensor you're looking at down in parts of Huron County. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Well, good morning. I'm James Starts the Time, 723. We'll get to Dan and your forecast in a moment. But first, I'll follow up until that deadly crash on the Turnpike Friday afternoon. Four people who died in that crash have been identified. Well, three, that is. Three victims, the Ohio State Highway Patrol, were identified. They are 59-year-old Bernard Blaniers from Napoleon, 37-year-old Julie Roth from Toledo, and 19-year-old Emma Smith from Weberville, Michigan. Troopers tell us they are still investigating what actually caused this 46-car pileup to happen when that severe weather made its way through our area. And meanwhile, the body of a 92 year old woman from Faustoria was reported missing on Christmas Eve, and that body has been found. Police believe Joan Bauders left her condo either late Friday or early Saturday and became disoriented. They searched throughout the night into Christmas morning, and officials believe she died due to those bitterly cold temperatures. Switching gears now, the BGSU Falcons are wrapping up their season today at the Quick Lane Bowl in Fort, at Fort Field in Detroit. We'll be playing New Mexico State at 2 30. You can catch all the action on ESPN and then the recap on Action News at 5 o'clock. Dan has a check of your forecast after a very quick break. Well, good morning one and all here today. A high of 22 degrees. That's the warmest we've had since about Thursday when it was raining in the 40s. Lighter wind, the lightest wind we've had in about uh, three to four days too from the southwest, five to 15 miles an hour. Looking uh, for some of that light snow to start moving in west of I-75. Not much more than a dusting to maybe up to a half inch of snow accumulation possible through the day, but it certainly won't be blowing and drifting around like it was this holiday weekend. We finally get back above freezing here on Wednesday. A high of 40 with plenty of sunshine. Haven't seen that in a little bit here and then on Thursday even the low 50s Friday could be flirting with near record highs near 60 and then Saturday and Sunday New Year's Eve into New Year's Day as the balls drop into New York we've got the rain falling here in Toledo about a 40 percent chance for both Saturday and Sunday.
there, everybody. Welcome into the nine. If you're off school, if you're off work and just still enjoying Christmas, here we are. Uh, she is Tina Williams. My name is Eric Halbert. Uh, you, I don't know if you knew this. Was, there was a uh, an upscale uh, or not upswing, upswing okay. of crime all over the area last night. You know that? No. Uh, why? It was actually a couple nights ago. There was a breaking and entering. Oh boy, it here was, we go. Uh -huh. uh, the the uh -huh. perpetrator apparently was wearing red. Mm. You've been watching the Santa Claus a little Smelled too much. Smelled of beef here. and cheese. Oh, oh, and, and or elf. Then, I like it. Then later cookies. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you have a good Christmas? Who doesn't, right? Yeah, yeah, it was good. And I'm sure that a lot of parents out there, the house still looks crazy, right? There's still there are toys everywhere at this point. There usually is. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have to talk about. The toy, you know, we talked about this a few weeks ago, the toy that maybe you remember or you didn't receive that you would just love to still have. Do you have one of those from your childhood? <sighs> that I remember that I wanted that I did not yeah, receive? Yeah, sure, or okay. that you just loved so much. Okay, I, I, well, I, I think I said this before on the show, the G.I. Joe base yes. when I was about 10, that was a huge thing. Well, here's what's next though on 13 ABC Action News at noon. There's some brand new details on that fatal pileup on the turnpike that claimed four lives. Plus, a former Disney star behind bars in Northwest Ohio, the charges he's facing. And a few flakes falling out there in very select spots, but not exactly flying, unlike the high winds this holiday weekend. A 13 ABC Action News at noon begins in just 30 seconds. Millions of Americans still feeling the effects of last week's winter storm, the report from one of the hardest hit areas. Plus, mayhem in the mall. Gunfire erupts as shoppers try to get last minute Christmas gifts and some mega money on the line. How much is at stake in tomorrow's Mega Millions lottery drawing? Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us at noon this day after Christmas. I'm James Starks. We are starting to uh, fall out a little bit from that weekend weather. First, little meteorologist Dan Smith standing by with what to expect on this Monday. After our coldest Christmas high since about 1985, this is what we're left with today. Slowly improving temperatures, but still quite cold all the same and firmly below freezing. 21 in Toledo right now, 18 in Hillsdale. Uh, it's one of the cooler spots on the map tied with Sandusky, and you don't have nearly as much shaky cam going on here uh, as we have in days past with all that wind. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us at 1230. I'm James Starks. It is the day after Christmas. We hope you all had a great holiday and hopefully you had some time to kind of start to thaw out from some of that cold weather that we had starting on Friday. First alert meteorologist Dan Smith here now. Dan, it feels just it feels incredibly warmer than what we've had from over the weekend. Which is weird, right? right. I know it's a running joke that like, OK, 50s in the winter going into the fall. Seems like, okay, maybe I'll put on a jacket. 50s in the spring is like, oh, we're great. This is kind of that same principle. It's 21 outside, but it feels so much nicer than it did even just within the past few days. We're tied with Finley right now, going up 18 in Detroit right now, and uh, pretty even temperatures actually across the board and improved temperatures at that. We're almost 10 degrees warmer here in Toledo than we were this time yesterday. Next on Action News at 4, remembering the victims. We're learning more about some of the people killed in that terrible 50-car pileup on the Ohio Turnpike. Airport woes. Airlines still facing a lot of baggage as more than 200 flights are canceled and thousands more are delayed. And migrant drop-off. Three buses of migrant families brought to the home of Vice President Kamala Harris, left in the cold as the political battle over immigration grows. This is 13 ABC Action News at 4 with Tina Williams and Tony Gettis. And welcome into Action News at 4. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Conklin and for Tina and Tony today. We start today with your top four at four. Four people killed, so many others injured in that nearly 50 vehicle crash on Friday. It happened on the Ohio Turnpike. And one of the victims was a mother of two and was pregnant with her third child. Her family sharing with 13 ABC how they want her to be remembered. 13 ABC's Delaney Ruth is live with the story. Lee, 37 year old Julie Roth was driving with her young daughter and son on the turnpike Friday when the unimaginable happened. Now her loved ones are dealing with the grief of losing an integral part of the family. 
This is 13 ABC Action News at 4 with Tina Williams and Tony Geftis. Unfortunately, the holidays are a time when robbery and larceny rise all over the country. According to the National Crime Victim Survey, those crimes go up by at least 20% in December. Holiday crime is our big story today. Ports piracy is on the rise. Thieves ripping off packages right in front of the front step of homes on the porch. Many are caught on camera. Randy Kay looking at the problem with porch pirates stealing gifts this holiday season and what authorities and some homeowners are doing to stop them. Well, outside we've got a few flurries flying and radar showing some light snow now moving into the southwest corner of our viewing area. And this is really going to be our last chance for snow before that mild air approaches as we get towards New Year's. There's the current conditions. The Fines Airport reporting that snow falling right now, but otherwise you see clouds across the board over the viewing area there. Temperatures outside right now, 20s for just about everyone. Hillsdale right now sitting at 18 degrees, so still rather cold. When we track those temperatures through the evening, we're going to drop into the teens overnight. We'll dip into the lower teens and those wind chills could approach zero just one last time before we start to improve things later this week. We'll talk about the sunshine, the mild temperatures, and some rain in the full forecast. 13 ABC Action News at 5 starts right now. Now on 13 ABC Action News. Fallout from that horrific crash on the Ohio Turnpike. What the family of one of the victims wants you to know about Julie Roth of Toledo. The holiday travel rush post-winter storm. Delays still impacting tens of thousands of people. Christmas is wrapping up, but Kwanzaa is just getting started. A look at how one local organization is celebrating. This is 13 ABC Action News. Four people killed, so many others injured in that nearly 50 vehicle crash on the Ohio Turnpike on Friday. And one of the victims was a mother of two and pregnant with her third child. And tonight, family members share with 13 ABC how they want her to be remembered. 13 ABC's Delaney Ruth is live with the story in our continuing coverage. 37-year-old Julie Roth was driving with her young daughter and son on the turnpike Friday when the unimaginable happened. Now her loved ones are dealing with the grief of losing an integral part of their family. I spoke with Julie's sister today, and thankfully Julie's two children are expected to make a full recovery. This is 13 ABC Action News at 5. Welcome back, everyone. Well, most of the snow and cold has blown past the area over the last couple of days. Thousands of travelers are still dealing with weather-related headaches. FlightAware reporting more than 1,300 flights in the United States were canceled. At least 600 flights delayed today. Among the major airports seeing the most down flights, Atlanta, Buffalo, and Denver. Travel troubles also extending to our region here. This is a passenger Detroit Metro. Live from Toledo, this is 13 ABC Action News. And welcome in everyone to Action News at 530. Thanks for joining us this half hour. I'm Lee Conklin. Christian Brown has the night off here the day after Christmas and begin with a check of your forecast. After that snowy and brutally cold weekend, well, things are looking up right now. Let's go live. First alert, meteorologist Derek Witt is tracking an ever-improving forecast. Derek? Oh, yes, Lee. Compared to this time last week when we were tracking that winter storm, we're tracking temperatures going in the opposite direction, but still for today, holding on to that cold and a few snowflakes as well. We flip things over to satellite and radar. We see, well, the clouds are around and a little bit of light snow and flurries moving into the area, especially to the southwest of Toledo. A clipper system came through and we're just now getting onto the back side of it. So the next few hours may see a few snowflakes fall. A little bit of a burst there to the just to the north of town between Toledo and Monroe, right over 75. Tonight on Action News, new details in the case of the hole found in the ductwork above a Toledo Fire and Rescue female locker room. What we're learning about separate TFRD and TPD investigations. Melee at the mall, several fights at Franklin Park last night involving juveniles. What the mall's saying about safety measures. Jay? Our weather headlines include some sunshine tomorrow, a warming trend, and some rain. The forecast tonight. Straight ahead on Action News, safety concerns after several fights broke out of the Franklin Park Mall. The new information from Toledo Police. But first, Mega Millions up to an estimated $565 million. Here are the winning numbers live. Across America with Mega Jackpots, it's Mega Millions. Hello, America. I'm John Crow. It is Tuesday, December 27th, and tonight's Mega Millions Jackpot is an estimated annuitized $565 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold mega ball. Now, 
Let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is 59. That's followed by 61. Up next, we have nine. Your next number is 36. And your final white ball number for this Tuesday evening is 13. Now for the mega ball number, that is 11. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 59, 61, 9, 36, 13. And the gold mega ball is 11. Now, no matches all six numbers. Friday's jackpot could be more than $640 million. Play on, America. And right now, temperature is holding steady, if not rising outside, thanks to our clouds and a south wind. So overnight, I think we'll kind of hold steady from here on out, just near or below freezing. A little wind chill factor as you wake up tomorrow, upper teens and lower 20s. Other temperatures, most of us between 30 and 32. Now freezing in Finley, that's an improvement from the past four or five days. Cold spot hills tail at 26. In addition to the warm up tomorrow, Little sunshine developing for the afternoon. Breezy conditions developing, but a high near 40 should help the melting process begin. As far as beyond that, good chance to hit 50 for several days, but also high chances for rain on the way. That forecast in a few minutes. Action News starts right now. Now on 13 ABC Action News. A disturbing discovery. Toledo Fire and Rescue and TPD launching investigation into a hole found above a Toledo Fire female locker room. The immigration debate and the fate of Title 42. Reaction to the action today by the U.S. Supreme Court. And federal prosecutors wanted a life sentence when a judge decided for the man convicted of leading the plot to kidnap Michigan's governor. This is 13 ABC Action News. And welcome into Action News at 11. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Conklin. Diane is off tonight. And we begin with Toledo Police and Toledo Fire and Rescue launching investigations into an incident where someone tampered with the ductwork above a fire station female locker room, which could lead to both disciplinary and criminal consequences. 13 ABC's Willie Danley is on this story, joining us live with the latest details. Willie. Lee, today Toledo Fire and Rescue said everyone should be able to come to work without the fear of the invasion of their privacy and that they would do everything that they can to hold whoever's responsible accountable. 